Hello, I'm Ali from SafeNet. Uh, we can see here an SL key with several features, but the three features that were uh, time based with expiration date, it was feature 02, uh, which were used to be provisional license, and in addition to it, a feature 101, which is uh, an activated uh, feature. Uh, but it also was uh, used to be with an expiration date also is unusable now how can this uh, such features can become unusable uh, in most of the cases it would be uh, as a result of time tampering what I did uh, previously is this is just uh, to use uh, the time uh, to make it uh, forward in one month or several days ahead uh, and then I restarted the license manager services uh, and then I got back to the to the to the current date and time um, and then manipulated the uh, a bit more and so I got this result now how uh, a vendor if he wants to uh, to fix this unusable uh, licenses what what are the steps to do so first, let's, let's uh, ask the customer or the end user to use the RAS utility in order to collect information and to create a C2V. And then we'll go to the Business Studio and check in this uh, created C2V and see if we get, have something. We don't see any, any problems here. It seems like everything is working. Uh, I don't see any any problems having uh, uh, having uh, with this SSL key. Now, what I will do is just I will I have created a new product, uh, which is uh, this one. This product is a uh, SSL key, but it has no feature, just uh, something in the memory that is not uh, uh, required. You know, just for for having one product, uh, a dummy product, let's say, and I will use it, uh, I will create an order, an update order, so let's create an update order, to, with this, uh, this product, this dummy product, which has nothing but uh, memory, uh, three bytes of the memory, which are not necessary just for creating a product, and then I will go and uh, have use this C2V to update and so if I produce I'm able to uh, create in the desktop a V2C of update so let's uh, apply it and successfully now let's go back over here and now I can see that everything referred to the original state where feature 2 had expiration date and uh, feature 101 uh, has also expiration date uh, as originally so to sum up uh, the unusable license uh, mostly is a result of time tempering and for the vendor in order to make it work again uh, he has to ask for the C2V from the customer, create an update license with anything, doesn't matter, and when the end user will uh, apply this license, he might get back uh, to the original state. Thank you for watching.